Hey everyone, in this lesson I'd like to show you a few ways that you can make your blues rhythm guitar playing a little bit more creative. So if you're used to playing the Jimmy Reed shuffle, the kind of and you want to break out of that then here's a few ways that you can get into that. Now if you'd like to get a PDF with any of these examples, please check out the link below to my Patreon page where you can download a four page PDF which contains all the tab for this lesson. For example number one, we're going to be using some triads that you can find within the Mixolydian scale. So all these examples are in the key of A, so if we maybe use an A Mixolydian, that would be a good reference point for this. So for the one chord, we're just going to use a typical A triad there. And then for the four chord, we're now going to switch to the D triad right there. So if you're comping over a one chord, you can now be a little bit more imaginative because you can reference the four chord in this kind of way. And you'll hear that on little Walter recordings. And you can obviously keep that going for the four chord as well. So one chord. Four chord. Back to the one chord. you can keep that going for all three chords in a jazz blues. So the first thing to do if you're new to this is to try and play more of like a shuffle type of blues and try and get that passing thing going on. As you can see, I've got a very lazy way of getting that D triad and just literally getting my pinky and slamming it across <laughs> all three notes there. But obviously other fingerings will work. I just like using that fingering because I can quickly get back to that first fingering to keep the shuffle going. For the next example, we're gonna thicken out some of these three note voicings and change them into four note voicings. So if you've previously just been playing the A triad as a triad, you can have the bass note right there. For the D, D triad, we're gonna play a D bar chord. And for the G triad that we have previously, that came from the Mixolydian scale, we can put an E bass note on that. And that's gonna give us an E minor seventh chord. So slowly we have these four chords. A, D bar chord, E minor, then back to D. So in context, you now get this type of sound. You can use that for all four free chords in a jazz blues. Same thing applies over the four chord and then for the one chord because I haven't got a cutaway on this particular guitar I'm going to play the same thing in open position so E, A, B minor this time and then A again. So as you can hear, that creates a lot more movement in a shuffle rather than just keeping to that chunka chunka type of rhythm. The last thing that I'd like to share here is how you can add passing chords to each of these. So for example, if you're on a one chord and you want to get to a four chord, you can do this type of thing. So what's going on there? So I'm starting once again with that A triad, then I'm going to a G triad with the third in the bass, which is diatonic to the key of A. And then I'm going to a passing diminished chord. It's a C7 diminished chord. Then I'm going to an A triad with a third in the bass. And that gives us this chromatically ascending bass line, which gets us to the four chord. Okay, so you can play that rhythmically one of two ways. You can either play that two chords per bar. or you can play one chord per bar. And you can do that on any of the three chords within a blues. For example, if you pick an E chord, then... And if you reverse it, you get a really cool turnaround. Another thing I like to do with this particular technique is to harmonize certain jazz melodies. For example, Blue Monk, if you play that in the key of A, you can get some of these um, harmonized bass notes going on there as well.
So that's another thing that you can do with this. So I hope these help you out. I hope that you find them interesting. If you did, then please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.